my very first time on the history of this channel. I'm not wearing a football shirt, but I'm wearing my new pajamas. And it was a cool story because Santa came around and my young son, two years old, he got that pajama uh, for Santa Claus. Well, it's Santa Claus. It's a Dutch festival. And he told my uh, mother, his grandma, like, hey, that needs something like that as well. And yes, I got it. So here it is just for him to show it in the video, my Spider-Man pajamas, guys. So if you love that, leave a like, subscribe, and welcome to the best possible Premier League players available around Christmas and New Year in FC24. Let's go and leave a like. Do you want to build a team you always dreamt about, but you don't have the coins? No worries. Go to u7buy.com, the best possible place in the world for your FUD coins. Use the code VIVA for a massive big discount, and you can get the wins you always dreamt about. About. If you're a big fan of football shirts and you want to buy it for yourself or to give it to a friend, go to Soccer Real Shop. There is a link down in the description with the code VIVA. You receive a big discount of free shirts when you buy shirts. Starting off the video with the best possible Premier League goalkeepers. And we have some new goalkeepers to show you. So luckily we can revive these videos with new animation. We have Nick Pope along Ederson Marias dropping down to the cheap area. Especially Nick Pope gives us diversity instead of the Brazilians we all use Ederson and Alisson and what think about a new car for Jersey Dudek Mr. Octopus he gained that card for that Champions League win against AC Milan being the hero in stoppage time being the hero with the penalty shootout Jersey Dudek got that card because in all honesty I saw him at Feyenoord Rotterdam earlier on and he is an okay goalkeeper but nowadays I don't think he was that special he was in the Champions League run and that gave him this beautiful looking card for the rest of his career. So UFC Dudek is now the best to get. We go to the center backs and if you love the video, leave a like, subscribe and put on the notification bell. Buy these amazing shirts. Well, the football shirts normally go to Soccer Deal Shop and buy the players with coins. Go to U7 Buy and use the code Viva for millions of coins in no time. We have Saliba and Rafa Varane. We keep it simple. French, Arsenal, French, Man United. Go get them if you're just getting this game for Christmas, for example, buy them. Want to upgrade them, we'll go for around 100k and we're looking for players like Joe Gomez, Jusko Gvardiol, Ruben Diaz and Virgil van Dijk. All of them trading around 100k, so yep, it's a medium budget, but as I told you, if you play for a long time, 100k is payable easily. Then we have the new Winter Wild Cards and we see Virgil van Dijk, of course, 91 rated bruiser, but we also see Kyle Walker, center back, block playing style, 91 pace, 86 defending, this card is a game changer. Try him out, Kyle Walker will rock your world. But that's not all, if you like to get Rafa over on a Thunderstruck or a Vincent Company with a new hero card, you're also good. But once again, they come with a price. When we go to the left backs, we can keep it quite easily and fair for you. The best cheap ones to get are Andrew Robertson and Arne Riese, his normal hero card. Both of them need a shadow card because their pace isn't that good, but for the rest, you're covered. They're decent on the ball, they have nice passing and they can keep running for 90 plus minutes. Want to go for an upgrade? Easy, breeze it with a better hero card. And Robinson, if you like a quick man after US of A playing for Fulham. The best possible left backs in the game in the Premier League at the moment or Zinchenko and Andrew Robinson with a special card. I'm not even knowing how that promo was named anymore. It's a long time ago, but once again, Pick your warrior to go to bat. One of the easiest, cleanest, or if you like to put it negative, boring positions, it's a right back position in the Premier League. These are your candidates. Nothing more, nothing less. Kyle Walker, the best cheap one. No deny, no question possible. Trent Alexander-Arnold with a big pace upgrade and the long passing playing style is a nice player to get used of if you like a ball playing right back he's way better on the ball than Kyle Walker Kyle Walker for me feels better defensively well it's up to you by far the best after best he has the technique of Trent 
Yes, the pace and the physicality of Kyle Walker is Reese James, and that is the brother sister card he got with his sister Lauren James. He's also wearing the captain's armband of Chelsea with 90 pace. He's matching Kyle Walker. The defending, the physicality, it's all higher. The only thing that's a little bit lower is the passing that is higher on Trent. But once again, guys, shop with the money you got. You can't miss it. We go into the midfield with the CDM position. The best, cheapest one is Sandro Tonali. 5 to 6k, that's the steal. Kashimiro comes in with 25k, so he isn't that dirty cheap anymore, but there's nobody else I can show you as a second cheap player. If we go to the medium budget, Paul Yinya is a great bruising player, great in the air, and a physical monster playing for Fulham. Calvin Phillips has no special playing style, but he is special. He's overall complete and has high defending and physicality to go alongside with it. Then we find also a new card on Hero Ramirez that makes him unbelievable great he is mr meta this is his card we started to call meta on the midfield because he had 88 pace on a center midfield card in it was fifa 14 or 15 well guys we're almost going 10 years back with those games it feels like the day was yesterday but hey that is just me Getting old, getting a son, getting a pyjama in a video, well, that might be me. But hey, growing up, it's quite fun if you're just, well, just go alongside with it and enjoy it as well. And Yaya Toure, well, he's press proven and he's the best CDM still. Ramirez, although, is also very good. Now we go from the CDMs to the Centomis. For a Centomis, they always ask me, Viva, what do I need? Complete. You need every single stat over or close to the 80s. So you have that with Ward Pros, Joel Linton, and Gallagher. Especially Gallagher and Joel Linton also have the relentless playing style that keeps them running 90 plus minutes without dropping any stamina. Very good to use in games, especially in the lower divisions. You will get a lot of gains at the second half. It's coming to an end. If you like a more technical player, Thiago Alcantara can be dead and you can link him up with Enzo Fernandez, his winter wild card. Card, card. Enzo is available as a CDM, he is available as a central mid. It depends on what position you need him, but he can play both. Nothing wrong with it. And the best central mid at the moment, and I think it is a little bit disappointing, I agree. Like looking at the CDMs and in a couple of seconds to the camps, the central mids with Silva and Gravenberg or okay, but that says it all. The Premier League this year needs some extra spicy central mids just to spice Here are the cams, I promise you guys, this is something special. Do you love the colors? Leave a like on the video and subscribe for more, guys. We have Christian Eriksen, who is a great passing player. You can see that, 90 passing, 85 dribbling. But the Mr. Pass himself is Eze, the star player of Crystal Palace. With 99 passing, he is the best passer in game. Nobody can deny that. Gigi Okocha, Bruno Fernandes, especially... The tricks on Gigi Okacha are just lovely to play with. Try him out, you will love him from day one. And Dali Ali alongside Chubba Sly, they bring a lot of pace on the pitch. With Chubba Sly being the Trivella playing style outside of the foot, very dangerous. We also have a new cam in our middle and that is Finesse Shot Phil Foden. That makes him so dangerous guys. Finesse Shot Phil Foden. I believe this is the Euro card, it gets better and better. 91 dribbling, 84 passing uh, pace I must say. Yes, Phil Foden on this cam with finesse shot beautiful touch and Kevin De Bruyne is still one of the best playmakers in game on the left wing we have so 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 much to talk about we have start off cheap Jackie Grealish with his 88 rated card yeah guys you also see him later on when he's a little bit more expensive with a lower rating. So try this card if you like that. We have even Pirisic and we have the South Korean guys. And I say that with all the respect. We have Jung Min Sun and Park Yi Sung. Great players to use down the wing. Park is more better complete as a box to box left winger. And Jung Min Sun is also a classy finisher. So try them both out. If we go to the medium budget, we find the likes of Jeremy Doku, of course, Harry Kuehl, but also Jackie Grealish with a new card. You can see that, guys. And Luis Diaz. He earned that card for scoring against Brazil, I believe it was, with Colombia the day after his dad got well released from kidnapping so that was a special moment and a special card we see Luis Diaz once again as one of the best wingers in the game with a European road to the knockout stage that card is finished it will not get better but the card is insane and Ansu Fati he is GG Okocha but then well in a well on go cards like quick 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 crazy quick and Max Rashford and William good old William are still by far the best 
you can get as well on that left wing position. It's crazy. We switch wings, it's kind of easy. It's kind of easy, guys, because if you don't have the coins, DRB, go get him. Have a little bit extra, try McManimum. You might like him better because he's better on the ball with the passing and shooting than DRB. So that might be a difference for better players. Like to upgrade that, like for Mr. Muscle, Derek Hoyt, or for Mr. Finesse, Mo Salah. His finesse shots on Mo Salah, I must say, they are deadly. Try him out if you're good with finesse shots, cut inside with Salah and celebrate your victories early on. Then we find the likes of, for example, Joe Cole, but also Saka and new kid in town, Doku, Jeremy Doku, with the Winter Wild Card card. 96 pace on 90 dribbling makes Doku uncatchable. The downside is the 80 shooting and the 81 passing. That makes him a little bit affordable. If the passing and shooting would be around 85 or 86, this card would have blown over millions because on the pitch I played against him, he's like lightning hitting you twice. He is just on catch. Finishing off the episode as always with the strikers. Do you love the videos? Leave a like. Last video got almost 20,000 views in one day guys. This channel is going up once again big time and that is all thanks to you lovely people. We have Alexander Isak alongside Ole Gunnar Solskjaer with a new beautiful hero card. They are both at good pace, 86, 88, good shooting, 85, 90. They are compatible with each other. Give those boys a chance. Do you like them? Well, what think about Khalid? Tavis dropping down and the man who got his first goal at Old Trafford, Hoylund, who did it against Chris uh, against Aston Villa comeback game, 2-0 down, 3 to win, Hoylund got the goal. Was the lucky goal, maybe a little bit, a good reaction, you can turn it either way, but he got his first goal at Old Trafford. He got five away in the Champions League and now the man is rolling it from the bank. Let's see if that's the start he needed. Robbie Keane and Gabriel Jesus are also nice examples. Taking it one step higher to the best possible strikers in the Premier League, we have a new card for Calito Steves, a beautiful card. Trust me, Jungmin Son is there, but what to think about Christopher and Kunku? Take a look at that card. He is striker, center forward, and playmaker in one. 87 pace, 87 passing, 86 shooting, 92 dribbling. This guy is a monster. Compatible with Erling Braut Haaland. This man is compatible with everybody. Haaland is a pure finisher, but in-game Nkunku is the most expensive one because, well, what a game wants is what Nkunku brings. Good in the ball, close control, very technical, high shooting, high passing, can play as a second striker, and Nkunku has it all, and that is why he is the king, value-wise, of the strikers at the moment. So boys, if you loved the video, leave a like, like the story of my kid. Well, he's watching it right now, so give him a thumbs up and drop something in the comments. No fun, this is for you. If you're watching this, my boy, you can see it tomorrow if you are awake from sleeping, I hope, very long in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all have a nice day. Uh, best wishes. I hope you guys have a great ending of the year. You are making this channel big once again. Thank you. You are the bomb.